President Trump is currently addressing the nation, delivering his third State of the Union address. This comes one day before the Senate's final impeachment vote. And 2 News reporter Leah Williamson is live with more on what we're hearing so far tonight. Brooke, Mark, it's been a busy week in Washington, D.C. Now President Trump is getting an opportunity to speak up. President Trump so far has spent the majority of his speech talking about the economy. He says this is a blue collar boom. He attributes recent economic success to his tax cuts, trade deals and elimination of certain regulations. But so far in the speech, he has not addressed the impending impeachment vote. An expert from Cedarville University explains why he may be avoiding the elephant in the room tonight. Well, you don't want to antagonize Congress, uh, even the Senate. I mean, certainly it looks like they're going to vote to acquit him. That's not, a, not really that much of an issue. But it's, not, it's, it's kind of a close vote, relatively speaking. And if you, if you push and push and antagonize senators too much, it's always possible, remotely as it is, that some of them could get angry at him and just change their votes if they're on the edge already. It's not likely, but it's always possible. And it's better to be wise about this. President Trump also mentioned Ohioan Tony Rankins during his speech. Rankins is a veteran living in Cincinnati who has overcome drug addiction. We're talking to him tonight and we'll have his reaction along with others at 11. Aliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.